poppin' fam, it's your boy Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk with another short video just for you. This video's gonna be about a homie. I just saw him. Just got released out of jail. When I say he got released out of jail, it was no Rikers Island, no kind of sing sing shit. Home was a Nigerian brother who got released out of Ghanaian jail. When I say Ghanaian, I mean from the country of Ghana. He was locked up in Ghana for 14 years, fam, trying to bring some stuff through and got caught. Wow, I was like, man, got in prison 14 years, Nigerian dude, you ain't speaking their language, <laughs> I know it's rough. He told me, he's like, man, there's some shit you don't never want to be in, damn sure not. He said, especially as an American, you know, not saying that you soft or hard, just a, you're not able to endure the conditions that's in this place as an American mother. You see how these American dudes be on the internet talking about Rikers Island, Oh, it was rough up on um, Coxsackie and all stuff, this and that. That shit ain't got nothing on them goddamn um, foreign prisons. He said they, they stuffing people inside like rooms. And then that beds, a mattress and all that good stuff. Good stuff and they laying on grounds and shit like that. Jam-packed, no air condition. You might got a little wind on there. It's extra hot too, tropical weather. Come on. None of that privacy Go taking you a shit. And then that shit, they say, that, 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 that exists. Mm -hmm. A hole in the goddamn home in the ground. You see that in a lot of Arab countries. So I guess I saw it also. I saw also in Africa. I just left a couple weeks ago. A little hole in the wall joint right there. Disgusting. It's a little room. Imagine it's a room and that's what it's there. Imagine the unsanitary conditions that side here, fam. Malaria. You catch any goddamn thing in there. Mosquitoes, flies, the shit. It's hot, it's humid, people cough, people sick. I was like, man, that's a torture shit. 14 years. That 14 years probably like doing 50 years in a fucking a crazy maximum prison in, um, in America. You know what I'm saying? But when we came through there looking, old, looking good to us, I said, damn, you a soldier. Because shit. Dude, it told me 14 years, I probably caught a heart attack in the goddamn um, inside the, um, with the jury at the courtroom, you know what I'm saying? I was like, wow, 14 years of some shit there in the condition. He's like, man, must get beat down. You know, you got like little gangs, cliques, you know, if you're not from there. Most likely you're getting beat up and shit like that. He said the rapes, the the booty bands out there running rapid, you know, snatching most of the young dudes up there. Most of the young boys who just got caught out there doing some stealing and some shit like that. Most tapping them butt cheeks and everything there. The police so damn corrupt. They snatch your money from you. If you get some money sent in and shit like that, it's something that you don't want to be in. You know, I can imagine as me be watching these um films, busted abroad in jail abroad and all that shit like that. She is real, real fucking reality, fam. Some of us sitting there talking about their little jail stories and fucking. New York City and things like that. Them cushy ass prisons get the fuck out of there. That's why all these people come from like Colombia and shit like that. They do fucking stuff on the street there. They sentence them three, five years. It's like a goddamn hotel to them. You know, for the average American, he can't go through the hardships. Why? Because he's so, he's soft. He used to three, three meals, three hots, you know, every day. You know, three hot meals in a cot. So to sleep and relax, take a shower and stuff like that. Not no OC prisons. And then I got them shower every one, two days shit neither. You know what I'm saying? Your shit just be stinging for a little while until they say you can take a shower, fam. So therefore, when you travel, you gotta be careful out there. You know, check your surroundings. Check people who offer you rides, taxi drivers, anything. You gotta be careful out there because one mistake, you know, or even one setup, because people out there would love to set you up and they see you're a foreigner, you know. You're a Bruni, you're a foreigner, they see you. So therefore, that's that opportunity to get some money off you. If the police are definitely on it, damn sure. If you come to these um African countries, the customs, soon you walk inside there, they, they looking greedy. They try to point you out. Well, how much currency do you have so you travel with? All these dumb questions. Do not fall for any of these goddamn traps. You don't answer no questions or no kind of bullshit there. So you want to check my bag? Check my bag. You talk to them for so Don't have any goddamn scared them. And tell them you, real. you are reporting them. You want to know their name right now. Now watch they switch up. I'm telling you, you got to be careful out there, fam, because why? You are a target. And I'm out, fam. Peace.